How can you classify matter in an easy way? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi guys! Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is your first time watching me, I am Engineer Ella and I make educational and motivational content for students. So if you're interested, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon para hindi niyo miss yung mga upcoming lessons and videos ko. By the way guys, this video is part of a tutorial series in general chemistry and all of the video links in this series will be in the description box below. So let's start! Before anything else, I would like to discuss an introduction of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of matter and the changes it undergoes. So here we study the properties of matter and the ways in which they interact, react, combine, and change. So ano nga ba ang matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass, meaning my volume and my bigat. For example, this tumbler, it has space, no? meron siyang volume kasi it carries a certain amount of water and meron siyang bigat. So this is considered as matter. And almost everything that you see in your surroundings are matter. So ano ang yung mga hindi example ng matter? Ito yung mga non-tangible things. For example, yung feelings, no? um, events, light, energy, those are not example of matter. And matter has three states, the solid, liquid, and the gas. Meron din tayong other types like plasma and most Einstein condensates, but solid, liquid, and gas are the most common. And they differ from each other based on the arrangement of their particles. But do you know that matter can further be classified into different types? And actually, that's our main topic for today. So the technique here, in order for you to classify matter, for example, you are given an example of matter and you are asked, how are you going to classify it? The technique is this. So you just ask yourself a series of questions for you to arrive at the correct answer. The first thing that you will ask yourself is this. Can it be separated by physical methods? Ano-ano ba yung mga physical methods natin? Uh, marami yan, no? For example, na lang yung evaporation, distillation, filtration, or chromatography. So, for example, um, given ka ng salt and water na solution, no? Isipin mo ngayon, pwede ba siyang um, gamitan ng mga physical methods para, you know, para makonfirm natin if mixture siya. So, yes, no? Pwede ka gumamit ng evaporation method doon. Kasi separate mo siya, no? Yung salt and yung water. Kasi mag evaporate yung water. So, ibig sabihin, if yes yung um, sagot mo doon, then it's a mixture. But for example, given ka ng water, no? So, tatanungin mo yung sarili mo, can it be separated by, by physical methods? So, pwede mo siyang i-evaporate. Pag in-evaporate mo siya, lahat yung mag-evaporate, no? Wala kang masaseparate. Pwede mo siyang, uh, pwede mo siyang gamitan ng distillation. Pag gumamit kang distillation dyan, puro water lang din yung lalabas dyan. So, ibig sabihin, kahit anong gawin mo, hindi mo siya separate gamit yung mga physical methods natin. No? So, it means that it is a pure substance. So by definition, mixture is just uh, two or more substances that retain their individual identities. So, meaning, uh, pwede mo pa rin siyang separate But for pure, pure substance, it has a constant composition and only one type of substance yung present sa kanya. So, for now, let's focus on mixture. Mixture can further be classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. So, let's say na classify na natin na mixture nga yung ating matter, no? we will again ask ourselves another question. And the question is this, does it have uniform appearance? So, what do I mean by uniform appearance? It means that when you look sa mixture mo, no, from top to bottom, Iisa lang yung appearance niya, no? Hindi siya magkakaiba. So, if your answer is yes, then it is a homogeneous mixture. If no, then it is a heterogeneous mixture. For example, yung salt and water pinagmix mo, no? Tapos hinalo mo siya, anong mangyayari sa kanya? Magkakaroon ka ng isang clear na mixture. And yun nga, by definition, homogeneous mixture 
has uniform composition and the components cannot be visually differentiated. Meaning, yung salt, hindi mo na siya makikita by your naked eye kasi na-dissolve na siya sa mixture natin. No? So, hindi mo na kayang i-visually differentiate yung components niya. Okay? While on the other hand, no, uh, we have heterogeneous mixture which are randomly mixed mixtures that has visually distinguishable components. Meaning, nakikita mo, no, nade-differentiate mo yung mga components niya. For example, water and sand. Diba? Pag naghalo ka nun, makikita mo talaga yung mga sand particles. And after a while, kapag nagsettle siya, makikita mo na merong two layers. No? Ibig sabihin, pag tumingin ka from top to bottom, magkaiba yung isura ng top sa bottom, meaning hindi uniform yung appearance niya. So, this is considered as heterogeneous mixtures. Take note guys na hindi lang solid and liquid yung pwedeng maging heterogeneous mixtures. Pwede rin liquid to liquid like um, oil and water. Di ba pag pinagsama mo sila, later on magkakaroon sila ng separate layers. So usually yung mga multi-phase layers natin are considered as heterogeneous mixtures. So that's it for mixtures. Let's now go to pure substances. So pure substances can be further classified into two which is compound and elements. So the question that we need to ask ourselves once we already know that it's a pure substance is this. Can it be separated by chemical means or by chemical reactions? For example, water. Water can um, undergo electrolysis para ma-separate mo yung hydrogen and oxygen na atoms niya. So kung kaya gawin yon, then it is a compound. If no, then this is an element. Okay? So by definition, compounds are substances which are formed by two or more different types of elements. Take note, guys, yung keyword natin dito is different. Okay? Different types of elements that are united chemically. Ibig sabihin ng united chemically, meron tayong chemical bonds. Okay? So, um, if not naman, then this is considered as element. Okay? So, ano-ano yung mga example ng element natin? Basically, everything that is in the periodic table. Okay? And if nag-combine yung dalawang magkaibang element dyan, chemically, then that is considered as a compound. For example, sodium and chloride. No, Meron silang chemical bond together so that makes um, sodium chloride or our table salt. So, just a quick um, clarification lang, no? Um, yung difference ng atoms and molecules and compounds, yung atoms, ito yung individual elements. Okay? So, kapag nagsama, yung dalawang uh, magkaparehas na elements, tatawagin natin siyang molecules of elements. Now, ang tanong, itong molecules of elements to is considered as, el as compound kasi united sila chemically. No, this is still an element. Kasi hindi naman magkaiba yung element no, na nagsama. So, this is still considered as element. For example, H2. Okay, so hydrogen bonded with itself, it's still considered as element. While on the other hand, yung mga compounds naman, so it's anything no, na dalawang magkaibang element na nagsama, then this is considered as compound. Okay? So, that's it. Ito yung ating full picture or full table classification of matter. So, ito lang yung tatlong tanong na kailangan natin i-ask sa sarili natin kapag given tayo ng isang matter. First is, can it be separated by physical methods? If yes, then it, is it uniform throughout? If no, can it be separated by physical methods? So now, let's have a practice, okay? We are going to identify if, if the following is a mixture, no? Homogeneous or heterogeneous, or if it is a pure substance, no? Element or compound. So let's have number one, pure gold. So hindi ito yung store, guys, ha? Pure gold, meaning puro na gold siya, okay? So if your answer is element, then you are Correct. Okay? 
Why? Kasi yung gold can be found sa ating periodic table of elements. And since nakalagay naman dyan pure gold, ibig sabihin wala siyang ibang um, kasama, no? So, um, element siya. Number two is blood. So here, uh, para natin malalaman na um, mixture siya or pure substance, can it be separated by physical means? Yes, kasi blood um, can actually be separated from its plasma through centrifugation, which is a physical um, method of separation of mixtures. So it is a mixture. Now, since alam na natin na mixture siya, um, ang problem na lang natin is identify siya kung homogeneous or heterogeneous. Okay? So, kapag tinignan mo yung blood, okay, at first, di ba, uh, para siyang homogeneous kasi isa lang yung kulay niya, di ba, red lang siya. But actually, if you will um, let it sit for a, a longer time, uh, later on, no, so kung mara ito yung may test shoot tayo ng blood, later on, magkakaroon tayo ng two two separate layers. No? Magsa-separate yung plasma and yung mga blood cells natin. So, dahil nga hindi na siya uniform all throughout, then this is considered as heterogeneous mixtures. Mixture. Okay? And number three, stainless steel. Okay. So, take note, guys, that uh, mixtures, hindi lang yan laging It's liquids, no? Pwede rin siyang maging solid. So, stainless steel is actually an alloy. No? What do we mean by alloy? So, yung mga alloys natin, uh, these are metals that are blended together. No? So, steel, no? Stainless steel is actually composed of iron, chromium, and nickel. Diba? So, this is a mixture. If you will look at it, diba? Hindi mo naman siya makikita kung alin dyan yung iron, alin dyan yung chromium, alin dyan yung nickel. So, it cannot be visually differentiated. Kasi mukha lang naman siyang uniform, di ba? All throughout. So, this one is considered as homogeneous mixtures. Alright. And we have number four, ammonia. Okay. So, ano to? Um, this is a compound. Kasi meron tayong two types of elements yung one type of yung first type is yung okay yung um nitrogen and the second type of element is hydrogen so since they are bonded chemically then this is considered as a compound so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you have learned something from this video please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon para lagi kayong ma-update sa mga uploads ko. You may also show your support guys by following me on my social media accounts such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you have any content suggestions guys na gusto nyong gawan ko ng video, uh, comment nyo lang sa baba. So yun lang guys. Again, thank you so much for your support and see you on my next video. Bye!